Ubiest of the Tubiest. The best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus, Mr. I'm going to call him Devon. And I, I said Devon last time, right? Devin. Devin. I'm going to call him something different every time. <laughs> Oh, he's on his last ride with me. This is definitely the last week, so maybe a couple more days. That's about it. So we've uh, conquered the backing part of everything. You got that down and everything else. The Qualcomm. What do you think about that? It's, it's pretty simple. It, it really is. You know, you, we we use day to day macros. Uh, one, two, four. I mean, one, two, five, and six, but pretty yeah, much, yeah. you know. And the macros are in order; they're very easy, you know. Right. Um, when you first thing you do at a load is arrive there, right? Pick right. it up. So arrive at the shipper, number one. And number uh, the number two is loaded call. Loaded call. That's right. Now, once will you get going? Especially OTR. Especially okay. Um, <clears throat> once you get going. There's a macro 12, and that 12 is uh, is a rolling call. Now, in a perfect world, what would happen is you would pull up at the shipper, right. and they would say, okay, uh, here's your paperwork, and go over there, and we're going to load your truck. So now you have the paperwork. And then you go, and that's one of those impatient drivers um, you go over there and you wait and then and then they load the, the truck okay and once they load the truck you already have the paperwork right so now you can send that to loaded call this is a perfect scenario perfect world so you send that to that's loaded okay now you're gonna go out and you're gonna secure the load tarp the load whatever it needs to be done and then you're going to be ready to go, right? Right. Okay, then you would send, at that moment, you would send the 12, the rolling call, and it lets them know um, that, you know, that you're, you're, you're actually about to leave and start forwarding that load. And, and in that loaded call is your estimation of time and, and where you're gonna deliver, right. okay? So that everybody's on the same page. That's that would be the ideal situation. Problem is, yeah, almost never perfect because you're gonna rarely get your paperwork before the trailer is loaded. In fact, some places, especially if you're tarping, they won't give you the paperwork until the load has been tarped. Okay, so you're gonna do everything, then you're gonna get your your paperwork. And you can't send a loaded call until you get the paperwork because you're going to need to put information on that uh, loaded call that's on those bills. Still do it. You send the two, which would be your loaded call, and then 12 rolling call. Okay. What we haven't done yet, don't think we have, which is a multi stop load. Um, only on multi-stop loads will you use the We'll pull them up here. Well, you can kind of see what we're talking about. You guys can't see what we're talking about. Okay. Compose, and then right there is a four, three and a four. Three is arrived at stop, okay? Now, don't get that confused with the cosine because the cosine E isn't, He's the, this the, 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 the final. I don't know, maybe Cosani is French for final or something. I don't know. But that's the final, okay? The, the, the first stop on your list, you, you could have five of them. The first stop on your list, you're gonna send a macro three. And you type it in uh, uh, zero one in, in that macro. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up and you're gonna see where it says arrive at stop. You don't put one for the first stop. You need to put two digits. So these say zero one. Okay. 
simple. That's yes, that's the only thing that's on there. You push zero run and send. That's it. Okay. And then the uh, when you're when you're finished uh, with that first stop, getting off the stuff that, that the first stop's getting, you're gonna now fill out a number four, and and then it says uh, departed at stop number one, right? Zero one, and then fill the rest of that stuff in there, just like a, uh, a empty call, right? It looks the same, except it wants you to put that that stop in there. That's it. Same thing. And so, no, you guys can't see it. <laughs> we went down to take a picture of it so you can see what, what we're doing here. But, uh, um, and then uh, when you're when you're finally at that French place, uh, the Cosigny, the final, this will be the last stop. They're going to take the last off of that truck. You're going to set a five, right? Five yes, is? Arrive at the coast of any so simple. This is so simple, okay. And then they're gonna get everything off the trailer. Uh, sometimes they'll check the load, make sure everything's good, and then give them the paperwork so that they can uh, sign off on the paperwork. But have them to sign and print. So they'll squiggly line, and then the next day, after you done scanned in the paperwork, the next day they'll say, "Hey." Uh, who did you drop that load off with? And you, are you having a squiggly line? And I only name a squiggly line because you didn't have them print it so that you can say I dropped it off with you know, you know, first name squiggly, last name line. You know it now because you can read it. You know, right? So yeah, those things are, are are pretty important. After you send the empty call, then then uh, then they know that you're ready to roll. Okay, and then they'll send you a brand new load, and the whole thing starts over again. If it's not a multi-stop, we're just gonna do one, two, 12, and then when you get to the final, the five and the six. Done for the day, super simple, right? That's right. And let's see, any other fancy ones? What about 18, macro 18, okay? So an 18 is what, uh, uh, you're gonna send in if you have a, uh, a breakdown or uh, something goes wrong with the truck or trailer. Okay, uh, that reaches outside repair, and then outside repair will uh, you're gonna put message in there on what's going on. You know, if you have a flat, uh, it helps to put the location of that flat when you put at the uh, micro empty. Okay. Don't put left side, right side, you know, because, you know, some people's lefts are their rights and some people's rights are their lefts, right? So you could say, let's say it's a, a trailer tire. If I'd said driver's side, front, outer trailer, you know which one that is. If I said driver's side, front, inner, you know which one that is. But if I said, right you will say wait a minute that's the left side but what i'm talking about is if i was standing in front of the truck looking at it right you know yeah yeah see so we don't do that <laughs> we don't do that we say uh driver's side passenger side that way everybody's on the right on the same page but you put that information in there you know if it's uh you know if it's overheating or leaking oil or or whatever okay Diesel. Uh, you, yeah, don't run out of diesel. Don't run out of diesel. Don't run out of diesel. And and don't lock the keys in a truck. I, I don't understand how that. Well, I do understand how it happens. I can understand how you lock your keys in a truck, but what I can't understand is how you lock your keys in a truck and you don't have another key. You know, you should. If you when you when you took when you get your truck when you get your truck, they're gonna give you two keys minimum. Okay, the. Uh, it's going to be, you know, this black key with the real key. Then they're going to have a, a cut key. And then uh, the cut key is the, cut, is the key we're going to keep in our pocket. I gave you a cut key. Okay. Have them cut you two extra keys so that you can have one in case you happen to, you know, you, you, yeah, you wash your clothes and you forgot your key in the clothes and then the key end up going where your socks go for some reason. I, you know, they disappear. Right? And so you'll have an extra one that you can put in your pocket. The other one you need to have somewhere on the truck um, 
you know if you notice that these uh these uh the hoods you can just uh you know go outside and open hood right yeah so maybe hide a key you know fuse box panel or somewhere in that area i don't know i don't know wherever you want to hide the key out that way if you know if your pet in the you know gets happy and steps on the door lock while he's looking at the glass and locks you out you can open hood and go find that extra key because you remember you lost your key in the sock drawer or sock heaven wherever they go i don't know okay but you don't like don't no man don't, don't lock the keys in the car man no don't do that don't no, don't do that be more respond be more responsible they're not, they're, nobody's gonna question you for having a spare key cut okay it might question you why you lock the key in, in the truck and then they got to spend five, six hundred dollars to get somebody to come out there and unlock it. I don't know how much it costs to unlock it, but it should be direct out of a driver's pocket. You know, Melton will, I think they, I don't know if they pay for the first one for you or split the first one with you. Hey, man, look here. Something that doofus, you should be just all out of your pocket, period. But I make that call. I also don't lock my keys in the, in the in the truck either. So simple. Let's see if we can get some more. Let's see if we can, yeah we we got the hurry up because I don't, I'm I'm trying not to make my video too long. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, uh, Twenty eight is an on board request that happens after home time. Okay, when you go home, uh, you need to be back on board the day that you're supposed to be returning and you need to be back on board before 7 a.m., okay? Gotcha. You send them on board, okay? Super duper simple. I'm just going through a couple of them, you know, uh, that you make you. Uh, 24 and 25. Let's do those. 24 and 25. 24 is a two-hour detention, so my appointment is 8 a.m. I show up at 7 a.m. It is now... 9 a.m. I've been there for two hours. I sent a detention. No, you know why? Because my appointment was at eight. Detention right. doesn't, doesn't start until a minute after ten. Doesn't matter what time you got there. It matters what time. Well, early. You get there early. That doesn't matter. Count. It counts at your appointment time. So if your appointment time was 8 a.m., you got there at seven. Nine o'clock is don't start your detention. Ten starts your detention. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So you're gonna send that macro twenty four, and, uh, and you know you just put that you know they, they they over that you know playing with them shells or you know forming a circle and everybody's smiling. I don't know, but they ain't unloading the truck, right? All right. All right. And so they eventually get started, and they they start unloading the truck when the last piece of of product is off the trailer. That's when that clock, that clock stops. I'm not talking about, you know, the, the time it took them to come, you know, bring you back the paperwork and then you, you know, go out and finish rolling your straps and all that stuff. No, 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 no. When they finish removing the product, you, that's when the tension stops, okay? And at that point, you send that 25, okay? Gotcha. All right, nice. That's very easy, very easy. Uh, and I'm sure there's a few more. Um, Let's go to a 40, uh, 49 right there. A 49 is steers and drives, and that is, is the, uh, that's what you're going to send to let them know that you've scaled the load and what those weights are, okay? Um, definitely, definitely, definitely. If you scale a load, it's over. You have to send that in because that is an issue with that you're going to have to now turn back around and go back to the, the, the customer. Okay? And you have to go back to the customer. They're either going to take something off or reposition the load. Okay? And uh, uh, one good thing about uh, to know about having your, your trailer loaded, if be be aware be aware of much weight aft your rear trailer tandem because that you can easily overload the rear trailer tandem so you know instead of them centering your load they 
got it too far back and now you have a bunch of weight aft, okay? You can have 40,000 pounds aft. I mean, you can put 40,000 pounds over the back of those over, over those trailer steers, the trailer tethers, okay? As long as you got 20 on the, on the front and 20 on the rear, okay? The moment you have 19 on, on one and 21 on the other, now you're overweight. Same 40,000 pounds, right? But you can't over axle your weight. You follow me? Yes, sir. Super duper simple. That's just a few of them, but it's getting long. 15 minutes, I'm gonna let y'all go on the tape, isn't it? Till we see you again, deliver undistracted. Here's your boop. Yeah. Boop.